So I want to start out this video by saying that I hate flat files with a passion, with a passion. So when someone showed me a very easy way to do flat files, I was thrilled. I knew I had to share it with all of you. So I want to thank Matt from productpinion.com for showing me this and he's going to be on for future episodes. So Matt from productpinion.com showed me this way to do flat files and it's amazing. It works so incredibly well, and it's actually a secret inside Amazon. And so you can't, actually can't find this just in your normal Amazon account. You have to ask Seller Central for it. They give it to you, and then it makes the flat file so much easier. So I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly what I'm talking about. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great brand building videos and videos on Amazon PPC. So here we are inside Seller Central and I'm actually in the help support area. So if you come up here to the top right and you saw this right here, this question mark, and click that, you're gonna to come to this page. I'm gonna come down here and click get support, selling on Amazon, describe your issue. So we're gonna have them activate a category listing report. I'm actually gonna browse because it's a lot easier just to find the other. Click fix a product page and I'm gonna come down here and click contact us gonna come down here put activate category listing report we want the category listing report and just please activate it for me just put Nason in there and then we're gonna click send so that's gonna send that out it's gonna open a case usually they'll respond back to this within 10 to 15 minutes so it actually doesn't take long at all and so once that's open you can then activate your category listing report and actually pull that so let me show you what that looks like so here we are in the inventory reports section so I went to inventory inventory reports right there so in inventory reports, when you go to select report type, once they activate your category listing report, it will actually say in here, category listing report. And you can see they actually took mine away. So I, this was a week ago, I just got it and they took it away from me. But lucky for me, it's actually saved in your inventory reports. So find category listing report after they give it to you, click request report, and then it will be ready to download. So I'm gonna go find mine right now. So you can see category listings report right here. I'm gonna click download. So here's the cool part. This is a flat file for every single one of your ASINs that is in that category with everything filled out that Amazon has. So that's pretty awesome. And my Excel puts an error on it, but that doesn't matter too much. So you can see every single product in that category, every single ASIN, every single SKU, and they put all the stuff that they have on it in here which is pretty awesome. I mean, that's that's a lot of information here. Gotta be careful because if it goes corrupt, you can see there's words there, but they're just not appearing. And so what happened is when we uploaded this, I'll show you what happened. It actually pulled in all those number signs. So we're gonna fix that one in this case right here. So first I'm gonna find this ASIN. So let's go back to the sheet. Oop. We're gonna hit Control F, I'm gonna find that one. So this is the ASIN that I want. And then the SKU is not that one, but not that one, but let me see if I can find it. Yeah, it is that one, okay. It's actually gonna be this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete everything else. All right, so now we just have the eye makeup remover that I have. So we got the brand name, uh, that's the title, product name. And what you can do is you can actually delete everything that you don't really wanna update. And we're gonna do a partial update. So you can see right here, partial update, or you can delete it. Or you can update the whole thing. And so what I'm gonna do is I need to find the bullets and fix them. And I'm gonna delete pretty much everything else. So you can see this is where it got corrupted. Okay, so after we have that, we're just gonna come over here and click Save As. And I'm gonna save it as a tab delineated, delineated, delimited file. Can't say that word. And we're gonna click Save, click OK. Come back to Amazon. What you're gonna do is come over here to Inventory Add products via upload. Upload inventory file. Browse files. 
find that one. Maybe a text file. And then upload file. That's it. That's how you upload an inventory file. So I hope this video was helpful in showing you how to update your description. This is great if you're having trouble with Amazon giving you updates and you keep pushing updates through the system, but they're just not going through. And it's really frustrating. You can't change your pictures, bullets, titles, or anything like that. But if you do an inventory file or a flat file, excuse me, do a, a flat file the way I just showed you, you'll be able to get all the data that Amazon has and then be able to upload what you want to put in there and it should reset it. And so the, the product I just showed you, we did that because they said we had a word in our listing that we didn't have anymore, but the flat file was needed to get that word out. Even though we would already taken it out, the flat file was needed to take it out. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that big thumbs up down below and hit subscribe down below as well and hit the bell to be notified whenever we come out with great videos just like this one. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be, and that is why we created this channel. On top of Amazon PPC, we're going to share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but that's our goal, and we want to take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building and the Amazon PPC strategies.